Balloon Contest is an eight-man tag scheduled for one fall. One fall. Introducing first the team of Chris Bay. get down. <laughs> it's not the first time Chris Bay's been told to get down. Main event time here at Bar Wrestling. Eight man, eight person, eight wrestler tag team action, multiple uh, international uh, flavor we've got going on here. We've this, got wrestlers from all over the place. This is truly the melting pot of wrestling tonight. The main event has people from Japan, from Los Angeles, and uh, frankly, people from Los Angeles who've lived in Japan. <laughs> I mean, frankly, from, uh, from that, who, people who practice in the LA dojo from New Japan. Members of the LA of the New Japan LA dojo here at ringside, closely paying attention, getting the wrestling lesson of their lives right here, the Bootleg Theater, as we are seeing uh, some of the best young competitors in the industry today. I mean, these are the stars of today and tomorrow. I mean, we got Ren Narita in there right now, and Ren Narita has already done a lot in this country so far. I was witness to a match that he had recently with Kota Ibushi, and let me tell you, if Kota Ibushi wasn't classified as a serial killer before, he was then, because he put a hurt on Narita, and Narita got up, shook his hand, and asked him for more. And that is the kind of competitor that we need to see at bar wrestling. Ren Narita has, has the opportunity. Being part of New Japan gives him an advantage because he gets to wrestle the best in the entire world. And that, that there's being in bar wrestling is no no exception to that. I mean, like I mentioned before, I mean, Narita's already had an epic battle with Kota Ibushi. He's gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Zack Sabre Jr., one of the best grapplers in the business today. And he's applying his craft today in the West Coast. A lot of different styles. He, you mentioned Kota Ibushi, a Japanese high flyer. You mentioned uh, Zack Sabre, who's part of the British catches catch can style. And now he's in here with Los Luchas, who are the epitome of, of the Lucha Libre tradition. Oh boy, we got the shooter, Shota Amino. A lot of you may know him as, you know, the adopted son of John Moxley, the current United States champion of New Japan. Took him under his wing, gave him the name Shooter. Looks like he could be related to Takayama. I don't think so. You cannot catch Los Luchas with your one eye closed. You have to keep both eyes on both opponents. Los Luchas move at such a, a breakneck speed. I mean, they're hard to keep up with no matter what. Los Luchas are, like I've said, they've been around bar wrestling for quite some time, but I don't think they've ever faced anybody quite from the J New Japan dojo. Yeah, if anyone's gonna know that Lucha style, that, that breakneck speed, the intensity that they wrestle at, it's gonna be someone from the New Japan Dojo for sure. Quick tag in to Rocky Romero, the king of sneaky style. We mentioned before well-traveled athletes, Rocky Romero has just been all over the world and he's held titles in just about everywhere he's gone. Adrian Quest has so much fire, so much spirit. He's just gotta like neutralize that. And here comes, and now, and returning and coming on the other side, the New Japan side, leveling the playing field. Rocky and his boys showing them how they do it in the land of the rising sun. They definitely stick together. Thick as thieves. 
when you when you know each other so well, when you train in the same dojo. Adrian, all by himself now, goes in hard. Shota, followed by Naruta. Narita. Followed by Bay. Shota, one more time. Rocky Romero now with Adrian Quest in the suplex position. Holds him up, brain buster down hard. That should do it right there. Post for his money. Oh my god, here we go, here we go. Narita with that classic catch can that they teach you at the New Japan Dojo. Knows hold for hold, how to transfer from hold to chain to chain. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is an abdominal stretch. And you don't see it a lot here at Bar Wrestling. But it's right in the middle of the ring. We and got he, he's stretching that, that, that midsection all the way. He's got his arms hooked and B-Boy is nowhere near the ropes. We have dueling submissions going on right now. Who's going to tap first? There's, it's dueling submissions. Both opposite teams have moves on. Now Rocky now, Romero with the ankle lock. Up in the ante a little bit. But here we go. Bay and Quest. Now it's an even playing field. Submissions for everybody. It is a test of endurance now. At this point, who is the most tenacious? Wonderful float over DDT by Shota. <laughs> Can't beat a spear. Shota, recipient of the spear there, as Ren Narita delivers a boot. Trap down hard. Spinning power bomb. Sit down. Knee by Rocky Romero. All the way up top. Down hard as well. And Rocky stands tall. Rocky and B-Boy, once again, the two veterans. The two experienced players here in this human game of chess. B-Boy hooks the leg. Almost three. Now this is a West Coast dream match if I've ever seen one. Because if there's two people that know each other inside and out, who have been to PWG, who have been to BOLA, who have been to CZW, who have been to all the major West Coast and, mid and Middle America promotions, these are the two. They know each other inside and out. Chris Bay with some elbows. A forearm shot. Again, though, it's two on one here. It's, it's always going to be a numbers game when you've got this chaotic element of eight people in one match. B-Boy rolled over. With Chris Bay on his head. Lands hard. Adrian Quest hooks the leg. He got him. With he that, got him. With that incredible assistant Canadian destroyer. Adria Quest has put away the ultimate finesse of Chris Bay. That is a huge.